kindly make a donation to the Heroes at Home. Cancer Sucks is rules of making stretch charities. Three awesome charities that do a world of good for our men and women in the military and those suffering from cancer. Awesome cops, military personnel, emergency responders, please stay safe. You're always in our hearts. Awesome job last night, Brian and Sammy. And of course, I'm talking about the awesomeness of Sammy B, who's part of the Third Eye Vision family, which I do a cast tomorrow. We also have Adam, Junk, and Chills. And then we've got the awesomeness that is Brian B. Mitch. Who did a cast last night? He's, Brian stepped away to do some grilling because he was feeling the the hangries. That's right. No. He said he was getting late, so he hadn't had food in a while, so he was gonna grill some a few things. Brian was telling me how he loves supporting other casters, and he also brought up the whole notion of my walkabouts and I realized I hadn't done one in a while so I figured I'd do a morning walkabout in a sense as I head to the J-O-B as you notice I had my cap turned around so you can't see where my what my J-O-B is but I will tell you this much it is at a deli at a uh At a grocery store chain, I will say that much. And if you're friends with me on Facebook, you know what that is. Ooh, I need to change something on my uh, Facebook now that I think about it. Uh, but yeah, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna cast a little bit here because it's like two point, it's quite a ways. Let's just put it that way. But, and I get paid again this Wednesday. Hot damn. I was hoping that the uh, Winco up here, their deli was hiring because, as you see, it's pretty much up this block and I'm at work, opposed to having to go that direction. But uh, but when I went for Winco, this is what was real weird. I went through the application just fine. Did the all the way through the orientation just fine. But when they started, when the guy who was doing the orientation started showing, started showing me around, showing me and one or two other individuals around. Yeah, across the street. Yeah, when he started showing us the tour, I started getting this odd feeling. I'm talking real odd feeling. As though somebody was like some unknown, unseen entity was grabbing me by the shoulders and saying, do not take this job because I was going to be a nighttime stalker of uh, coming down. And I was, oh, I was making myself sick. It's like, well, after I left, I was like, I don't want this job, don't want this job. So, I didn't take the job. I explained to my sister and stepmom the whole odd feeling and both basically said well maybe it's dad maybe it's dad who's telling you, you shouldn't have taken that nighttime job uh, that nighttime stalker job but like I said it was real weird how how it's perfectly fine from the application to the orientation but you know what you won't find uh, well you might find a few oddities here and there that's at totally 70s you got the likes of Paul DeMarco, 
doing his Monday Love Show. You've got Plasma doing Plasma After Dark. You've got DJ Junk. I'm not DJ Junk. DJ Tom Knight for his Tuesday show. And in two weeks, I think it's two weeks, he's going to have a, give a chance, it's like two to three weeks from now, he's going to give uh, all the listeners a chance to win an Amazon gift card. But here's the catch. You've got to text You've got to text the answer. And I'm not going to say what it is. What his little challenge is. You also have the likes of uh, the unknown DJ and and uh, Kirby Crazy. Well, Kirby Crazy also has a iVlog uh, show going on. So check them out as well. But I'm really enjoying my job. I had to, uh, I had to sub inside the meat department the other day, uh, on Sunday because they were short staffed. And I know I probably forgot a few things on closing, but but you want to talk. Man, but half the time I was pretty much going nuts though because all I did was stand around because I didn't know what I was supposed to do. But as far as I know, I got everything that was supposed to be done done. Uh, one of the other uh, guys there was doing the whole scan in the store, and he showed me where the where the little circuit breaker shut off for. Uh, the meat department was so that was good uh, and I got to see Robert again uh, one of the a guy who I closed uh, closed uh, closed with uh, my when I, after I first started I told him the second time I saw, yeah, I told him the second time I saw him that I was walking home and I felt this crunch, crunch, crunch in my apron. I thought, oh God, I forgot to give him an entire cookie. And then I found out, then I found out it was one of the crackers that I had <coughs> snipped from uh, work. He said, it was all right, as I know, but still, it was your cookie. So he was cool to work with. And when I was at uh, Dillard's, yeah, yay, uh, doing a pass-through, one of the people, at, one of the folks, I believe, in men's shoes, I think it was men's shoes, asked me about the guy who uh, who worked there and he, and he was talking about Robert but I couldn't think of his name at the time ooh taking a brief break kindly dive over to Neil McCoy's Facebook page because every day he does a morning uh, Pledge of Allegiance plus he does his a little uh, little walkabout and chat as well I forget what number he's on. I know, I know it's a high one because he started around the time of 2016. Uh, so do that. Nonetheless, yeah, I wasn't able to stop off at uh, C's Candy when I got off work last night because I got off late. But I made certain I stopped off prior to because I didn't know how long the it was going to storm and rain. I thought, I'll dive over to the mall, then, then I'll dive up to work. The wor by the time, when I left yesterday, it was just drizzling, and 
the worst the hat the worst thing that was going on is it was windy as hell i'm surprised that if i knew it was gonna be that windy i would have put a thing of skates on threw up a sail and zip my way to work that way but they had some sort of chocolate peanut thing from seas and i was yet to have something bad from them oh okay yeah, this is generally the te trek I take there and back to work. And so you wouldn't see where I work. That's why I've got my cap turned around. There's generally a rooster that there's generally a rooster that crows around here at some point in time. But as you see, I'm coming to one of the great restaurants up here on this stretch of Sheridan. Uh, which I need to get back to. Uh, so, here's your Tulsa tour. Yeah, right. I, I'm as yet to try that that place. That place there. I'm as yet to try it. I keep meaning to. I don't know. I don't hear the rooster this time. Somebody probably strangled it. Yeah, this is one of the this is, yeah that senior tequilas is one of the many strip malls down on this side of Sheridan. As you see, I got a ways to go. And I will definitely post this when I either when I go on break or when I leave later on. One of the neighborhoods. Yeah, I wanna get closer. I was waving them through. It was only proper. Yeah, like I was saying, I'm waiting until I get closer to the ribbies. I forget what it is. I, man, I forget now what it's uh, what it used to be called. I, I mentioned that in my when I when I talked to my sister about a while back. Yeah. There we go. Let's see if I'm close enough to get a. Close above, yeah, there we go. There's, there's Ruby's. And there's the sign. And I'll be going past uh, another place, which uh, one of my, one of the old Sears employees swore by their milk. Because the place I'll be passing is like a combination of a convenience store, DQ, so, and it's one of, it's one of two that I know of, the other one's down by the bank. Yeah, so, here's Yale Cleaners. Got something you wish to pawn? There's another restaurant that I noticed uh, on my second or 
third trek up uh, to work. I might have to try them. Uh, there's an Asian joint. There's a little Asian egg roll plate. Place. Once I get to the rest of the second, this one restaurant, I'm gonna, there we go. Ooh, awesome restaurant. And then of course, it's called Brahms. That's that little, that's that convenience store slash uh, DQ like joint. Okay, I haven't yet passed. I keep, I keep, I don't know why I keep thinking the, the other hamburger joint that's similar, that I feel is might be similar to Ruby's is further back, but it's not. Like I said, I get paid this week, so I'm happy about that. I really didn't do anything with my first paycheck. It was, since it was so smidgeny, That's why. Uh, I'm just letting you look around. They're open? Okay, I didn't, I didn't think they were open yet. I thought they didn't open until a little bit later. I didn't think they opened until maybe like seven or eight. All right, folks. I'm going to leave you with that place as well. I've been your blind, blind, blind dyslexic. Smoke them if you got them. Down if it's on tap. This has been your... TBD morning walkabout. Ciao for now.